All right, thanks very much, Carrie. Ready, set, shop. Black Friday sales are well underway in the U.S. Long lineups, but none of the really crazy, sometimes violent scenes that we've seen in the past here at this Walmart in Tennessee. It is busy, but it's very civil there. The real spending may come on Cyber Monday. Surveys suggest it may be the largest online shopping day in U.S. history, with expected sales over $6.5 billion. It's a victim of its own success. The TTC King Street pilot project seems to be working so well, there's been long lineups to get on those streetcars. Riders have been complaining about crowds since the King Street pilot began nearly two weeks ago. Rest assured, the TTC hears you. There is, def there is an issue around capacity, and, and we, we clearly still need to do some work on that because it is super busy. Uh, right now we have all of our streetcars deployed, but we are going to look at options to see if we can squeeze a little bit more capacity onto King. But so far, so good. As many as seven streetcars are being added to the route, and any new streetcars on order from Bombardier will be dedicated to the King line as soon as they arrive. The King Street pilot project has really eased vehicular traffic between Bathurst and Jarvis, but streetcar users find themselves waiting ages for one that isn't jam-packed. Police enforcement has been strict through the pilot project area this week, but it is easing up a bit. The city sending out this tweet saying police enforcement winding down on King Street this week. We'll be sending out reminders to all road users over the next month to help keep the King Street pilot moving. A Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders making his first public appearance since he had a kidney transplant in early October. Saunders and his wife Stacy Saunders, who donated her kidney to her husband, attended the annual Chiefs Gala fundraiser last night in support of Victim Services Toronto. The event has raised one and a half million dollars since 2008. It's the official kickoff for the holiday season here in Toronto. The massive Christmas tree will be lit tomorrow night at the Cavalcade of Lights. One. Thousands of people will be packing Nathan Phillips Square for some skating, music and holiday cheer. Hosted by our very own Winston C. The tree lighting will get under underway tomorrow night at 7.30. It's followed by fireworks an hour later. And Santa Claus will be coming to town again this weekend, this time for the Weston Road Santa Claus Parade. The floats go on the move at uh, 2 p.m. Sunday. As a result, a number of roads will be closed. The parade begins at Weston Road and Church and then goes south on Sydney Bellsley Crescent. And the holiday spirit will be alive and well in Cabbage Town as well tomorrow as they celebrate this season. Closing Carlton from Parliament to Exchange Lane for the big event. Wagon rides, sales and an appearance by Santa of course is expected. The celebration is being put on by the Cabbage Town BIA running from 11 o'clock until 3 in the afternoon on Saturday. And don't forget that there will be a subway closure this weekend on Line 1. No service from St. Clair to Lawrence it's starting tomorrow. Shuttle buses will operate, but service will be resuming on Monday.